What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own notepad in Visual Basic 2010. I'm using the Express version because it's free. So yeah. Click New Project and make a new one of those form application, name it whatever you want. You can name Notepad. I have made this before as you can see right here, which is Travis Notepad. Um, I did make this before so I know a lot about it. So. Notepad, is, I'm just gonna name Notepad so it doesn't overwrite my old name. And click OK. Once that starts, um, make it like, let's see, make it a hundred, no, make it 500 by 500. If you want, you can keep it like that, but I think that's too small. Make it 500 by 500 if you want, whatever size you want. Okay, that's how much I made my other one. Okay, and then you want to add a couple things. You want to add a mini strip. Where is it? Nope. Uh, add a mini strip to this. And also add a tool in text box. Here. And after you do that, make it multi um make it multi line here. You just click the arrow and you check the multi line box. Now you can start this out. Let's make it like this. Okay. Alright, that should be good. Okay, make it like that. Alright, and then you want to add a couple things besides that. But first, you want to add the. Um, just actually, we'll add the uh, invisible, or whatever you want to call it, like tools from the toolbox, which is going to be um, open file dialog, which is right here, add open file dialog, open in, add a save file dialog, right here, add a color dialog, oh, there. okay, and the rest of them should be under the dialog, I mean. Add, nope, no, no. Add a font dialog. And then come up here. This is the other three dialogs are in here. And this is for print and print preview. So add the print preview dialog. And add um, print document. And add print dialog. Okay, those are the things you need. All these. So you need a mini strip, a text box. Um, open file dialog, save file dialog, color dialog, font dialog, print preview dialog, print document, and print dialog. Okay, those are all the things we need. Now we're going to add the, um, little, like, menus. So this one will be called file. This one will be called edit. This will be called, uh, format. And this one will be help. Okay, under file, you want to add, um, oh, no, wait, new, new, then open, and you want to add, uh, save, and print, and print preview, and then also you want to add, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, exit. Sorry about this. Okay, cool. And add those under the file, and then under edit, you want to click undo. Well, add undo. Add undo, copy, cut, I mean, and copy and paste. No. Oh yeah, and select all. Alright, wait a second. I'm gonna have to go add the rest of those and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, I just wanna let you know that, um, I added, you already saw me do all this, but in the edit menu, right there, in the edit menu, I, I added select all and find. And in the format, this should be font, 
font color, text alignment, and back color. And there should be a submenu in text alignment called left, center, and right. That's basically how you align the text where you want on the text box. And help you click about. You just add about. Okay, now we're going to add the code. So first of all, I have the code right here. I just put, I made a tutorial, but I'm going to make a text tutorial for the description. This is all the code right here. Alright, so um, for the print preview, add this. Oh, wait, wrong. No way that was. Right. Add this for the print preview. So what you have to do is you have to file and double click print preview. Single click file, and then you go down to print preview and double click it to open the code. And just, I'll include a download of this and the source code and whatnot. And for the print, you want to have this code. I'll read it off after I done the clock and everything. So. Okay, so put a double click print. That there. Alright, and then for this one, which is the print document. Oh, sorry. My fault. I did them wrong. This all goes into the print. Oh no wait, never mind. This highlighted one right here goes under print document. So you double click the print document, print document one over the invisible thing. And paste it there. Okay, and oh sorry. And you want to go to down a little bit more. This is going to go under uh it's gonna go under um, new, the new file. Still with new. Alright, and you want this to go under open. Alright, go to open now. Right there. Okay, and then. Uh, this, this is going to go on under save. Sorry if you can't understand that. Sorry about that. Sorry. In a mumble. Save. Paste that there. Okay. And we already did the print and preview. Print and print preview. Okay, and this will be going under exit. All you have to put for exit is end. So you, know, you can type that. You don't have to copy this. I'm going to copy this. Put end there for exit. All right, and then go back to form one. All right, and which is the design? And copy me this into the undo. All right. So you're gonna go to edit now. Click double click undo and paste that here. All right, and then and for this just select all you want this one wait oh no no mind that's for the cut select all looks similar a little bit it's gonna be the cut double click cut paste that there all right and then double click copy go into copy so this one after I'm done cutting and copying paste all these I'll read the each individual one Okay, so keep on clicking that. Keep on thinking that's no pet. Sorry. Well, my my tutorial over here. I've uh, been copying stuff. Now. Um, that's the paste. So go back to here. Double paste. Paste that there. All right, and then go back to home one. Sorry, we're almost done. And right here, this is where it's gonna be fine. Sorry, we, we skipped the slide. Didn't run out of Double click select. Go to edit and then double click select all. And put that there. Alright, and then double click find. And we'll put this here. Alright, put that there. Oh, I'm doing that. 
Okay, and then you put this here for this is for the font. That's why you put the font dialog in there, because obviously you can't do font without the font dialog. Right, so double, go to format now and double click font. Paste this here. Alright, and then come over here, copy this for the color dialog, which we also put in earlier. And put this in for the font color. Okay. And we'll put um right there. There we go. You put this in for the left, which is the text alignment. Alright, put text alignment and you double click left. And paste this here. Alright, and then you want to do the same thing for the rest of them. Well, not paste that down. It's basically the same for the, instead of saying left, you say center and whatnot. Sort of, sort of like that. Not exactly. And go to right. Copy and paste this here. Let's give me the right one. Oh, I think I did the wrong one. No, no, no. Is that that? Alright, and then for the um, back color, you just highlight this. Copy that. I don't, this it will take forever and it'll be a long tutorial if I had to copy and paste here. I have to type everything in. But, okay. And for the help, you come back over here and just copy this. And in the message box, in the print, quotations in the parentheses, you set, you just type in whatever you want. You can put copyright, whatever, doesn't matter. And I just put created by Jared. Okay, there we go. That's it. And now we'll save it. Save. Okay, and then we'll run it. Everything goes well. Alright, let's run this. See if it works. Yep, it worked. So, first of all, you can type stuff now. Uh, type more stuff. And, let's see, I can type something here. Is it? If I write, um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Rate, comment, and subscribe and then you can't some of the shortcuts don't work like control a which is used to select all you can't use that with this unless you put the foot into that but if you want to select all you, you have to go to edit and then select all you can copy that click enter and then so you control v works so which is the same thing as cool. some of the shortcut keys don't work also do if you want to cut let's see control f just control cut work just control i I'll paste it here. Alright, and then we'll watch that. And you can also actually we'll put it back there. And we'll save it as a oh, I forgot to do something. Sorry. Um, it doesn't really matter though. You can filter it so you can only have text files. I forgot to do that, I'm sorry. And that's for this saved out open and save file all all you have to do is filter it for just text files. You can just name it like Text. I'll put that right here. Okay. Save it. Okay, and then we'll see if it works. Where is it? There it is. See? Jared.text. It open with the Windows version of that. Okay. okay. And I do believe you have to um, filter it for the open file dog to open it. So yeah, you should, that's if you want to save it. And we want to go to format and we'll say font. It'll open a font dialog. It's going to take a while. And it has fonts and size and whatnot. And you go to help and about. It says created by Jarro. Fine. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Create, comment, subscribe as that said. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.